the most disgusting confessions of Reddit. I used to help out at a nursing home. This old Russian lady would relate the same tale over and over. Her husband drank and hit her. It was sad for sure. But one day she leaned over and whispered he was asshole drunk, so I pushed him downstairs. Dead. True Soviet, she is. But in reality I am good surgeon, the best. A friend had told me for years about the dark secret in his past that he can't tell anybody. Eventually he felt comfortable enough to confess, and he really was not exaggerating. When he was young he raped his younger sister. The family knew about it, and they all got counseling and stuff at the time. He and his sister are friends now. But fuck. Holy shit, this sounds exactly like the story about my colleague. Is sibling sex common? I had a friend confess that every time he stayed at my apartment, which was frequently, because we lived in different countries, sometimes he would stay for a month plus at a time, he watched me sleep. I woke with him staring at me, he was literally inches away from my face just staring and I freaked out, he broke down and confessed. My husband was asleep next to me. That was the most creepy for sure. It also ended our friendship. Did he explain why? In HS we were hanging out with this kid who was a grade lower than us, and he started talking about how he buried a cat up to its head and then ran it over with a lawnmower. I didn't believe that he actually did that, the cat would probably tear the shit out of you, but it was disturbing to think that this was the information he decided to share to impress us. I heard something similar when I was in middle school. I think, or I would hope, this is an urban legend. That my great uncle likes kids. It suddenly made a whole lot more sense that none of his adult daughters were ever married had a serious LTR and are overweight with self-esteem issues. Every other aspect of his life is perfectly normal, and I would have never expected that from him. There was a court case before I was born that was dismissed. My mother never even let me meet him until early this year, because she didn't want to take the chance that he might act indecently towards me. Must be really hard on his daughters. Good on your mother though, to have protected you like that. On my way home from counseling, an elderly lady talked to me about her experience as a nurse in a mental institution. Some of the things she said were horrifying and sad. I think she was glad to get it off her chest. This included patients with schizophrenia who were abandoned by families, people admitted into the wards because of their homosexuality, with some very upsetting consequences, and more. Most involved patients taking their own lives. I sat there and listened, though I'm not sure how much of it actually sunk in until I got home. That sounds like a sad job she has. You're a good person for listening to her. A colleague confessed that she had sex with her brother throughout her childhood and early adolescence. She also told me she despises her brother's wife because she is in love with her brother and is insanely jealous of his life and kids. She has never had a relationship and fears she will never be married or have kids of her own. She doesn't sound very normal. Not at all. She's nuts and also highly manipulative. I'm a little afraid of her. There was this girl in my school who I think was a selective mute, she only talked to a few people, and I was one of them. Then she told me that I'd never be on her hit list. Somebody once told me, the last thing I want to do is hurt you. But it's still on the list. I killed my best friend by accident while high on cocaine, one year ago. She was also my GF. Whoa. How did you react? I was like let's not show how shocked you are. But I was so young, immature and so in love. I started seeing a girl about a month ago. She recently told me she was raped when she was five. Her parents were druggies and had her at a young age, so she stayed with her grandma. But my girl's grandma was a drunk so she would have her son, my girl's uncle, take care of her. He was about 25 when this happened. As the story goes. He went to go score whatever drugs he was on at the time and left his five-year-old niece unattended in the car for who knows how long. 
When he returned, he found her covered in blood. She had reconstructive surgery on her vagina from where the guy tore her open. She confided all of this in me before I went down on her because she has confidence issues because one side looks stretched, doesn't bother me one bit. She says she still remembers his face and tries not to think about it. The most fucked up thing is when the uncle brought her home, they did nothing. Because he was buying drugs at his dealer's house when it happened, they did nothing. To save the fuckhead uncle that brought the five-year-old around a bunch of junkies. Who knows what actually happened? He could have allowed it to happen for drugs. About six months after this happened, he killed himself. OD. My girl says she doesn't like talking about it, so I don't ever bring it up. But I know it has definitely affected her mentally. I just wish there was something I could do to help her forget. TLDR my girl got molested when she was five, while her uncle scored drugs and nothing was done about it.